Welcome to Mike CB's Gaming Headquarters, where modern meets retro gaming. Now, let's get into today's video. Had in five years. To the future! The future. The future was something my family would never see. murdered me. They were wrong. They were dead wrong. That man must die. Don't quit! Don't let your memories kill you. They can't kill me. I'm already dead. Thomas Jane, John Travolta. Make Castle dead. Whatever it takes. Whatever it costs. This is not revenge. It's punishment. The Punisher. Aloha! Mike CB here to show you the Punisher Bar Top. This bar top was created by Randy Cram from Arcade Schmarcade. And also, you can find his store on Etsy or his website. I will include the links down below in the description. Another thing too, these arcade bar tops have unfortunately gone up in price due to, you know, his parts and plus he's building these things by himself. And also this guy designed some of the coolest bar tops around and he's been getting a lot of customers so you know if you're interested in these kind of machines definitely check out my boy and see these bar tops they are awesome now let's get into the parts that i have on this arcade bar top machine as you can see here it had the beautiful black cap joysticks but I replaced it with these nice white ones from Il, which is Industrial Lorenzo, hope I'm pronouncing that right, joysticks and buttons. Okay, some of you might ask why did it put sand oh, Look at Randy Orton slithering. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Here's the cover! Because I wanted that original arcade experience. Now I love sand while joysticks, hell, my 1943 arcade cab has Sanwa joysticks, which makes it play better for 1943. All right, enough of that damn cab. Quiet! 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 Are you quiet? Yeah, I put, it says free play here because I had company with the little kids and they didn't know how to start up the Pandora's machine, hence why I put that there. So it's a lot easier for people if they want to play this machine. They can just hit that and that inserts the quarters in, supposedly. Uh, another thing I want to point out on the bar top, as you can see here, the skull. That's what I wanted here. And then down here, can you see where it says CV Packum Parabellum? So I'll have Frank Castle translate what this is. I leave this as a declaration of intent, so no one will be confused. One. Sick this Pacum Parabellum. Latin. The boot camp sergeant made us recite it like a prayer. Sick this Pacum Parabellum. If you want peace, prepare for war. Another thing too, if we look up here, this marquee was made by Escape Pod Online. And I had the hand on designing it. They created the logo. I wanted Frank Castle, uh, the one that played Thomas Jane in that Punisher movie, to be displayed on this. Uh, currently, during the time when I bought this, there was no, if you remember the arcade one, had the marquee, the side images. 
none of that existed. I could not find any. So instead of trying to make one up, I just decided, well, I'll just use uh, Thomas Jane's movies because, um, or Thomas Jane's movies because it was the newest Punisher film. And he was the only one during that time period too that wore the uh, skull on his clothing. Next up, I went with Sexy Chrome T Molding. This thing is straight up sexy. All right, so one more final look at this bar top before we open it up and see what's inside. Lastly, let's see what's running this bad boy. Inside this bar top is a Pandora's box 5. Now originally it had an older one, I think it was a 3, but I like 5 because I can play Mortal Kombat on it. Alright, let's play the first stage of the Punisher arcade game. Produced by Capcom in 1993, this beat-em-up was my favorite beat-em-up game with Alien vs Predator in second and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at third. You play as Frank Castle aka The Punisher and if you are player two then you are Nick Fury an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. The Punisher and Nick play like and also pull out their sidearm if another bad guy brings a gun. I'm thinking Nick had a hand in this since The Punisher usually shoots up criminals. No. No, don't do it! One of the cool things about this game is the introduction of Microchip, who's there when you die. He's there trying to perform CPR on you if you don't put another quarter in the machine, then Frank or Nick die. Remember, pay to stay alive, kids. Now, the Sega Genesis was the only console to have a port of this arcade game, but unfortunately, they decided to censor some parts like the ladies with the short skirts, have been removed and that what? scene on the bus that Frank empties his 1911 into this guy is removed as well. Another thing they censored is Nick Fury smoking his doobie, I mean cigar. Brian, from what I've heard, you're using your paper not for writing, but for rolling doobies. You're gonna be doing a lot of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river. It's funny how Frank takes care of this guy on the bus though on the Genesis. Alright, see you later bro. I'll show you some basic moves when playing this game. The Punisher typically uses two buttons, which we will call A and B. A is punch, and B is jump. The Punisher will automatically draw his pistol if another enemy has a firearm as well. A is to shoot, A and B at the same time will do his spinning leg sweep attack. Sweep the leg. Roll is double tap on the joystick left or right. Jump kick is B to jump and A to kick. Rebound is move the directional stick back after getting hit. Grapple is just to walk up to the enemy and you will get a hold of them. A is to knee them or move them left and right while pushing will throw the person in that direction. This affects other enemies if they get hit by the thrown enemy. Here's the last move. To throw a grenade at the ground, jump up, press B, and then press A and B at the same time. While in the air, the Punisher will lob a grenade down below that really hurts the enemies, even the bosses. All right, let's finish this guy and interrogate him. We will need to finish him off too. I hope you will join me in when I get finished with my next video, which takes place in my town small arcade. I will be playing various pinball machines with my son, Jaden Seavey. 
Take care, everyone, and see my new fake game coming out. Relive those days in the Navy when bar fights were an encoring thing. Afraid the MP or military police is gonna show up and spoil your fun? Nah, no MPs here since it's my rules, my game. People telling you the earth is flat? Knock them out. People telling you that video games are the downfall of society? Knock them out. And worst of all, people telling you Popeye for the Switch is better than the arcade game? You use a fire extinguisher and cool them off. That's what you get with Mike CB's Bar Fight Adventure. Coming soon for the Amico. Amico VR headset sold separately.